Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. Do not follow me, I said. Yet you search even so. Some doors should never be reopened. Very well. It is begun. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound, Shem. I believe I asked you first. Ugh. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers. A shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. Help me. We both want Morrigan. And we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. I shall do it.
Very well. Just. Very well. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, Things are much changed from when you were last here. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. Have you heard the stories about the hero of Ereldon? Apparently he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs. Between the sheets? <laughs> no! I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> It shall be done. I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. I shall do it. Enchantment? Enchantment! Hello, doggy. Sandal is staying at the tower for a while. The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Enchantment! Yes. Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you.
Look at all these books. I've never seen so many. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. It is begun. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Similar. The bindings are in the same style, but the script is different. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. As you say. Is that a Dalish elf? Don't gawk. I hear they cut out your eyes for staring at their tattoos. They do not. They do. I read it somewhere. Oh, and you believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. As you say. Oh, who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful! You're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to fall out. Just thinking about it is making me dizzy. I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. Illuvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Solon thought Illuvian was a place. Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. But what became of the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn. Beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. 
No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on. Look, Finn, he fetched me a flower. <coughs> How thoughtful. It's very pretty. Slobbery, but pretty. You should just tell him to fetch a Morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I, um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh, sorry for bothering you. Unfortunately, we are still not sure yet. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Oh, very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tevinter, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think this statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. Sentinels are going back to normal. We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil. This used to be where the phylacteries of the apprentices were stored. They've been moved to a more secure location. We don't even know where they are anymore. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. Do you? Uh, uh, no, of course not. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. Uh, hello? The, the shadow will consume all. Something is causing it distress. The tear's in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil.
Enemy... He's approaching. Enemies ahead. As you say. Uh, I guess it's time to fight! Can I just hop uh. back here? Another sentry. It seems to make the wind spot in the middle of the sun. Damn you! It shall be done. I shall do it. As you say. Missed! I shall do it. Quickly, we must fight! I shall do it.
Very well. Go fetch! Shoo! You have to give him something. You can't just say fetch and expect him to retrieve random things. Why not? Once heard of someone with a really smart Mabari who would run off and fetch things like... like cake. I think this one's broken. It is begun. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house, yes, yes, we've been through that! Finn, greetings. We've conversed before, on the Imperium. It's hard to get answers out of it, it requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled, and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie, shielded from unworthy eyes. It doesn't lie. Well, I don't think it can. She mentioned the Children of the Stone. I had not realized that Durginlin once aided my people when they fled. Deep halls of Catalash. Must mean a dwarven tyke. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean? I shall do it. Now, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted. So we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. Let me come with you. I can help! Please! I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? I'm sure I have a map to Kadash tag somewhere in my books. I'll find it on the road. Ariane, does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? Well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrand Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. And I was tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. These are the ruins. The broken Alluvian should be around here. You don't seem to be that pleased to be out of the tower, Finn. I thought most mages wanted to be free. Why? Just to be outside? Do you see this splotch here on my robe? That's mud. There's no mud in the tower. 
Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. Do you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. Concerned for your own existence? Ooh. At your command. These people were very so sick much. before they died. Irabellus, Lethemen. You don't think it's contagious, do you? Do it. What do I do now? What do I do now? I'll try to make something explode. <laughs> Why aren't you no. here yet? <laughs> It'll be done. Damn you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope this goes well. <laughs> Come, let us end this. As you say. I shall do it. As you say.
can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. We have the shot of the Illuvian, but we still need the lights of our Lathen. We should head to Kadash Tide when you're ready to leave. So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. I just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. I haven't heard from him since his last attempt. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. A fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Tide? This is it, according to the maps. Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the Elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a gray area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? Four of us. You share the same blood as the Arlathan Elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. It has begun. I hope this goes well! <laughs>
interesting. This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? A magical vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the lights of Alathan. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? I always thought dwarves must be dull without magic. But this place is amazing. Very well. The Kadash dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? Something's here. Oh, oh God, yeah. that word on the scroll meant. You've begun. The knights of our lap and our old lanterns. I didn't realize the statue was capable of being literal. I should study Dwarven history when I return. Oh, More of that! Where's my note? Have to look at that later. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled our land. Quickly, we must fight! <laughs>
Let's see. I see. It shall be done. I shall do insight. I should have expected resistance like this. Go! Get we must fight. Let us do it quickly. Our skill has won the day. That's two lanterns. We just need a couple more. There's one here. Very well. I wonder if the relics here could lead us to where Arleth and once stood. On. Finn! It shall be done. Sorry. A small group of elves took refuge here. begun. It's like playing hide and seek, isn't it? So sure. Oh well. My people, Kalsharok destroyed Kad Halash. The dwarves slaughtered their own because they feared the Tevinter Imperium. Despicable. Thank <laughs> you. 
I shall do it. And how you fall. This is going well. I think our skill has won the day. Let me just get this again. Your name is Florian Phineas... Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No. They adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. Come to me, oh... Here we are! Here... Here it comes! I'll be done. We have the Shard of the Illuvian, and the Lights of Alathen, now all we have to do is scry for an unbroken mirror. I saw a suitable place for the ritual not too far from here. Prepare yourself. The ritual may attract unwanted attention. You'll have to protect me. Here. We. Go! What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Illuvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Dog, what do you call that which covers a tree? As you say.
We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons. And mirrors. Well, I guess he has to go somewhere. Never met a dragon worshipper before. Not much for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire! Some people are easily impressed. As you say. Very well. What is that? Uh, a Vartero? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you?
As you say. I shall do it. And it's glowing. We should... I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it, and you will not be able to follow. To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the Fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was... difficult. Truth be told, I waited this long because I was curious. Tell me, why did you come? So, you chase me all this way to... offer help? I will never understand you. And you will never understand me. I... would not even know where to begin explaining. He is safe, and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. 
Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say, even to you. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality, and yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage, no abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end, a herald for what is to come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. Sometimes change is what sets them free. What I want is... is unimportant now. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Not if you are fortunate. There is one last thing I must tell you. If you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there. And something you will find of great interest. Goodbye. My friend.